Today I'm going to share the origin story of the piece Emergent C, the first version of which you can check out at this link. And I want to invite you and 11 of your closest friends to write your own version of Emergent C based on what's really just a short musical recipe. Here's what we started with, just a set of instructions, six required, two recommended, and four optional. Text instruction scores like this first became popular in 1960s New York with composers like George Brecht, Yoko Ono, Lamonte Young. That movement, started by George Machunis, was called Fluxus and called for art and music to become less product and more process, as well as less elitist and more broadly practiced. So this is in the tradition of the Fluxus score. You could also call it an algorithm, something where input X goes in one end and output Y comes out of the other. In any case, the point is to take the musical energy and creativity of 12 composer performers, pass it through this filter, and let the result be whatever it is. So for the remainder of this video, I'll talk a bit about each of the 12 instructions and how 12 TDO musicians, myself and 11 others from around the U.S., how we interpreted them. I encourage you to interpret them however you see fit. So the first six instructions are required. Every iteration of emergency should ideally meet all of these criteria, but no one's coming for you if they don't. Number one, compose one phrase a piece, then perform it. So 12 people, 12 phrases of music. Number two, don't compose your phrase until it's your turn. How do you know when it's your turn? I'll leave that up to you. What we did was go in alphabetical order by last name and composed the piece horizontally. This is one kind of temporal displacement. We aren't composing collaboratively exactly. Sequentially might be a more accurate word. We're each writing one twelfth of the piece at different times or temporally displaced. Number three, call the first phrase 12 and use all 12 pitches. So whomever goes first, they get to write a chunk of music that must use all 12 tones. This was the phrase I got to write and I tried to make it as clangingly dissonant as possible. But maybe you want to do something completely different. That's part of the beauty of it. Number four, subtract one pitch from the collection and call the next phrase 11. Ah, I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. Number five, proceed this way until phrase one, when the lone remaining pitch must be C. The C will emerge as the only pitch remaining after the other 11 have been stripped away one at a time. And number six, permit or promote chance or choice so that expectations are elastic and boundaries become blurred. This direction was inspired by TDO's first project, In C. Dorian, which is a piece by Frank Tichelli that asks players to choose when to go on to different phrases of music, much like the piece It was inspired by the 1964 classic In C by Terry Riley. The idea behind this instruction is both to aid the gradual change from using the full chromatic scale down to just C, and also to delay part of the creative process until the performance, since the composers and the performers are the same people. Number seven, pick a particular emergency as the inspiration or subject of the piece. And number eight, do something about it. These are put in their own category called recommended. In 2020, emergency was everywhere you looked. But the one I was thinking about when I started Emergency was the fact that musicians just didn't have music ensemble music making in their lives due to the pandemic. Number nine, stick to 12 subdivisions per measure, for example, three, four time. We did stick to this one. And I think the rhythmic motif of four against three is one of the things that holds our rendition of Emergency together from beginning to end. Number 10, record one musician per hour or day for 12 hours or days. This is an asynchronous option. So if you're performing this the old fashioned way, in person, on a stage somewhere, then this doesn't apply to you. But we went with one per day. What this allowed us to do was create a new mix down every time we added a musician, so that by the time the 12th person recorded, they could hear all 11 other musicians. I can't tell you what a huge difference this makes as opposed to just sending out a click track and asking everyone to record by the same deadline. Actually, I can tell you because that's what we did for our first draft of this project, and it wasn't great. Using the daily mixdowns really makes it a lot closer to a legit ensemble experience. Number 11. Use a 12-tone row to predetermine the sequence of pitch eliminations. 
I was curious to try this because a strict dodecaphonic approach a la Schoenberg or Webern seems like a natural fit. But as a group, we decided that each person would just choose which pitch they wanted to eliminate. Number 12. Increase the tempo by 12 beats per minute each phrase. For example, total range of 48 to 192 beats per minute. We didn't do this either, although I did create a tempo map on our click track that generally is getting faster up until the second to last phrase. Do whatever you want with the tempo. Um, here is one option that gives yet another instantiation of the magic number 12, in addition to the 12 composers, 12 performers, 12 days of the recording, 12 pitches going down to 1, and 12 subdivisions per measure. Again, you can download the PDF at the link below. I hope you do, and I would love to hear your rendition of Emergency. Share it in the comments. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest from the TDO. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.